guys, me and Landon are back out on the river today. Came up to one of the dams here on the Ohio River. And uh, the wind's blowing, there's, real, there's really no good way to anchor. The water's too rough to try to suspend fish. So we're gonna be doing something a little different today that I've never done in any of my videos before. We're gonna be doing a technique that's got several different names. Some people call it bumping, some people call it back bouncing. But it's actually a, a very effective technique in current, especially below dams. It's a real popular technique out on the Mississippi River. So when you're bumping the bottom or walking baits, whatever you want to call it, you can do it from an anchored boat or you can let the boat drift back in the current, which is what we're going to be doing today. A uh, remote control trolling motor is, is going to make life a whole lot easier for you. And you really need a 24 volt trolling motor to do it, which is why I don't do it a whole lot because I've only got a 12 volt trolling motor. Like uh, I'm probably going to have to run this trolling motor wide open today just to do what I need to do. But I'll show you the rig we're going to be using. If you're not familiar with this technique, guys, we're going to be fishing with one rod and it's going to be in our hand. And when you have a 20 or 30 pound fish or even bigger, nail this with your rod in hand, you better be hanging on because this a, they, sometimes they absolutely wear it out. But I'll show you the rig we're using. So it's basically just a three-way rig. We've got a, about an 18 inch lead line, 20, 24 to 28 inch hook line. And you notice I've got a three-way swivel up here. And I've also got another crane swivel right in the middle of my rig. That's gonna help with line twist because we are in a lot of current. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna let the sinker down till it hits the bottom and then pick it up, let it drift back a little bit. Let it hit the bottom, pick it up, let it drift back a little bit. And uh, your sinker size is critical when you're doing this because if you get too heavy of a weight, it won't, you won't be able to get it to drift back. And if you get too light of a weight, you won't be able to keep it on the bottom. So you gotta find that sweet spot. It's a definitely a technique that takes a little bit of practice. Like I said, I'm not a pro at it by any means, but I have done it enough to, to catch some fish for you guys today, I think. We're gonna run up to the dam, start drifting back, and I'll show you guys a little more about this technique. to run my trolling motor wide open and my battery is not gonna last very long doing that so you just want to let it fall to the bottom and then pick it up let it fall to the bottom real slow and pick it up if you let it just set on the bottom you'll definitely get hung in a hurry because uh, especially below a dam because there's all kind of rock and wood and you want to you want to feel the bottom but you want to get it up off the bottom pretty quick and like i mentioned earlier your sinker size is the most crucial part of this technique and the way you know you got the right size lead is when you have to let a little bit of line out every few times you hit the bottom with the sinker you want to lose the bottom and then have to let a little line out to fill it again that's when you know you got it just right it just takes a little bit of practice but uh you'll pick up on it pretty quick then we're gonna start walking it out behind the boat. So I'm just letting that sinker go to the bottom, picking up on it a little bit. Now, when you pick it up, it'll it'll slip back some. Then you let it go down to the bottom again. You pretty much have to have a bait cast reel to do this. That way you can thumb the spool. Uh, a lot of guys use the low profile reel just because they're a little bit lighter. I've just got an old, uh, what is that, a Cast King Rover. This is the 50 model. It's a pretty lightweight reel. And these Tangleman's catfish rods are pretty lightweight and they're pretty sensitive for, a, for an anchoring rod. I need to step up my game and go ahead and get a bumping rod. Big Cat Fever makes a nice bumping rod. Warrior Cat, B&M. There's a bunch of companies that make them. They're just uh, really sensitive. Got a lot of graphite in the blank. Had a good fish, but he's in. When he's in, I need to kill the troll mode. When they're in that kind of current, they all have to be good. So 
right there we hadn't been bumping 30 minutes and i missed one and then bam this one nailed it that was a good bite right there in this current what? hook nailed him right in the corner of the mouth i mentioned these hooks in one of my previous videos and i had several facebook messages about where to get this hook i'm going to put a link in the description on where you can get these hooks and i'm going to put a coupon code down below and if you use that coupon code and go through the link provided you'll get 10 percent off on these hooks right here so be sure to check that out if you're interested in these hooks i use the nine off but they got other sizes as well they're feather light and they got a, a pretty nice gap on them but what i like is how deep the belly in the hook is you can put a big piece of bait on there and still have a lot of hook exposed all right take the way the net off he's a 32 pounder all right, we're gonna get this big guy back in the water. It's hot out here, I don't wanna keep him out too long. 32 pounds, that's a nice one for the first one of the day, and we'll get him back in the water. That's from the man. Ow! Boy, he tore me up. Look at that, instant blood. Ooh. That's what you get for not wearing gloves or not using fish grips. People can say what they want to about them fish grips, but I think it's a whole lot smarter to grab them with them than to end up like that. But I get excited and I forget all about them fish groups. Keep his thumb on the score and he'll feel that sinker at the bottom. You can't feel it no more, let out a little bit more line. Of course, I'm always slamming it right now. It'd be awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, so my trolling motor battery is starting to get weak. I've been running it wide open for a couple hours. Uh, we did get that one nice fish bumping, but we're gonna go back to anchor now, mainly because we don't have a choice. But uh, trolling motor's getting so weak it won't even turn. So. Hooked up with one anchor now. Is it big fish or little? Is it still on there? I think it was a piece. Yeah, I know it was a piece of skipjack. Could be an 80 swimming at you. What is that? Are you serious? That's a big old 80 swimming at me right there, you know? Yeah, that's a big old 80. Monster. <laughs> that's a big old 80. And look, he's so good, too. He choked it down. That was a big old piece of skipjack. He must have just chewed on it until he finally got the hook. It'd be a good one to eat, wouldn't it? Yeah, watch out. He can still poke it. Yeah, that's the perfect eating size. That dude needs to go eat some. He ain't got no belly at all. That ain't gonna work here. That is a 
then we'll go back to bumping. Okay, let's try and hook another 80 pounder like we did just a minute ago. Bad. We don't need the net. Maybe might be about ten pounds. Uh, maybe not even ten. Maybe well, he comes off at a good time. We'll get another bite back out there and hopefully get a big one. Okay, guys, so next time you're out on the water and you're in some current, give this bumping technique a try. It's hard to cover it all in one video. If you got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section. But we're going to get these rods reeled in and go ahead and get out of here, guys. It's getting dark, and I don't like being in this rough water after dark. If you enjoy these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe so you'll get notified for the next one. If you learned something, hit that thumbs up button for me. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time.